Hello there, Guni124 here. This is 124 Music Box, which is my music software. I want to show you guys a feature in this software. Though this is not the release version, this is actually literally in the engine. This is not the release version. But this will, this feature, will be in the release version in the future. So, let's go to the actual composition I've made for this, called Anvil Course. Maybe that gives you guys a bit of a hint of what it is. So, the first thing, I want to show you guys is the object menu. Originally, there was a create box or add box and a choose box menu, but these are actually in the object menu now. So you can add the new boxes and you can also choose a box you've already done. But I want to show you guys the doodads, which are objects I've added that are for fun. Because I wanted to make this software, I didn't want to make it like professional or serious i wanted it to be fun like i wanted it to be kind of like a game and a software so i've added these doodads which are fun objects the first one i want to show you although this is well really the only one i can show you right now because i have not developed the bomb object yet but this is the anvil object now let's use this <laughs> Really good, isn't it? Even has the actual whistling sound as well. So, the anvil doodad is designed to fall, and when it hits a box, it will make the box crumble, and all them bits that crumble off the box can also move about. They actually have collisions and also have gravity on them. And the anvil will also crumble boxes that it touches not just falls on. But yeah, that's a really cool little doodad right there, isn't it? And yeah, when I add the actual bombs, the bombs will do a very similar thing with the crumbling, but they will actually, well, they'll explode and then the little bits will fly everywhere. They have velocity on them. So that's what the bottom bomb will do. But I'm also thinking the bomb will also have a customizable fuse on it, so you can actually pull the fuse back and customize it. But yeah, these things are meant for fun, you know, like you might be composing a little bit of a song and then you might think to yourself, well, composing is a bit boring right now. Why, why don't I just chuck loads of anvils everywhere and bombs and I don't know, crazy stuff just for a little bit of fun. And by the way, it does actually destroy the boxes, so don't save it after doing this. <laughs> but yeah, I made this little composition here just to show you guys how the layout of the boxes will affect how the anvil works. Like some of these are just a few lines and some of them are full on, well, like a full on brick of blocks. Like. But yeah, I've also made different coloured ones like this, so you can see the different colours of the uh, pieces that crumble away from them boxes. This one's even looks like a bit of a bridge. And here's one that actually is like kind of like a slope, and it does fall down the slope. Well, it falls like halfway and then it falls off, but still, I just want to show you guys something really cool. Really cool. Go over the bridge. And it does have these uh, pieces, as you can see here, they do have a limit of how many that can be in, so you will see them disappear. Well, you might not notice it, but it does... It is visible if you pay attention. Now the slope. Let's get it here, like this, so. There we go. That's really cool. Really cool indeed. All right, let's mess around with this a bit more. What I've noticed is the timeline actually does physically it does physically come in contact with the anvil and pushes it along, which I think is really funny because you can effectively use it to dig through all this, which is pretty funny. I've also noticed the timeline also pushes the actual pieces off as well, which is really interesting. So let's uh, 
spam a bunch of anvils and watch this commotion. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. But yeah, this has been Goody One Two Four showing you a feature that will be in One Two Four Music Box in the future. But yeah, see you guys.